Hi friends, it's Pastor Harley from Broadway Church. Uh, as we're reading through the Bible together as a, as a church, uh, we would be in Acts, in reading in the book of Acts now. Acts chapter 5 has this, uh, this story. It says that so they even carried out the sick people into the streets. This is verse 15 in chapter 5. So they carried the sick out into the streets and laid them on cots and mats so that as Peter came by, at least his shadow might fall on some of them. The people also gathered from the towns around Jerusalem, bringing the sick and those afflicted with unclean spirits, and they were all healed. So first off, we're seeing that, that the words of Jesus, even greater works than, than you have seen me do, you shall do. Already the works of the Holy Spirit are present in the church, in, uh, in Christ's servant Peter. He, he, was, he was nobody. You would have passed him literally in the street if you lived in that time. And now Jesus is moving through him. It doesn't mean that when Jesus is moving through us, uh, people will always acclaim us and everybody will know us and we're famous. But uh, I'm pretty sure when Jesus is moving through you, there will be a sense where people stare and point, where there's something going on in your life that people say, you know, I need that. Maybe in their life there's a great peace. Maybe you're walking in hope in this very dark dark and hopeless world. Maybe you have known God's, God's healing and proclaim him as the master of life and death. Maybe he has broken the chains of, of addictions and troubles and sins that you have had, and you can say he is the one who sets prisoners free. Peter knows all these things, and people come to be near to say, maybe, maybe some of that can touch my life. And so much touches people's lives that they are, as, a, as the scripture says, they are all healed. People come to faith because he is a great God and he's ready to do great things among us. May you see his great things in your life today. Amen.